Finally tonight, as the national debate over health insurance drags on, many wonder how they'll be paying for that next doctor's visit. For hundreds of thousands of low-income patients, a 20-year-old program that began in South Carolina has been a solution. And the doctors and nurses, they're doing it for the love of the work and the chance to give back. NBC's Tammy Leitner explains. Good to see you. Come on in. They are not your typical doctors and nurses. Have you had any headaches? Most of them are retirees. It gives us something to keep our brains alive, keep us reading medicine, mm -hmm. keep us involved in medical care. And we none of them like get paid. We're caring for some of the most medically underserved people in the country. And when you go home at night, you really feel good about that. Good morning. The free clinic is called Volunteers in Medicine, and it's located on Hilton Head Island, one of the wealthiest beach communities in the country. But nestled among the high-end resorts and championship golf courses is a community of people without medical insurance. How you doing? The clinic for low-income patients was the brainchild of Dr. Jack McConnell, who moved here to play golf more than 20 years ago. But he found retirement boring, so he recruited his fellow golf buddies, who also happened to be doctors, to help him at the clinic. Today, there are 222 volunteer physicians and nurses. Just want to feel your neck, make sure everything feels okay there. They work here as much or as little as they want. The free clinic, financed by private donations and foundations, has been so successful that there are now 88 of them across the country. Hundreds of thousands of patients have walked through their doors. Zaida Corrado comes to the clinic every three months after she was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. They actually saved my life. Many of the patients would not have any health care without these retired doctors. How long have you been coming here? Uh, like maybe like six, seven years. There will always be a need to take care of, uh, of, of millions of people in this country who will not have access to care. This care coming from doctors and nurses using their golden years to care for a new generation. Tammy Leitner, NBC News, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina.